Hey guys, I just was about to assemble a bunch of my name necklaces and I thought I would make a video to show you guys how I do it. So these ones on this side need to be glued and these on this side can be acrylic welded. Acrylic weld welds acrylic to acrylic and I'll show you how that works. But these cannot be welded because these, the letters are mirror and when they're mirror, they have this foil backing. And this foil backing cannot be welded. So the ones over here are gonna need to be glued. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. This is the background to the first necklace. So the first thing we gotta do is peel off the tops of the backgrounds. I like to use tweezers for this because I don't wanna mess up my nails. If we're being honest. This one's a really pretty teal mirror. Look at that. And this one is a purple mirror. How pretty is that? Okay. So now that we have our backgrounds ready, we're gonna put our glue on our letters. So I'm gonna turn them upside down. I'm gonna get these, stack these out of the way for a minute. So for the glue, I like this the best as far as acrylic goes. Some glues like E6000 or super glue will make weird Mars, they'll put marring in the mirror. So um, this does not do that. So this is a two-part epoxy, so you just kinda squeeze out some, and then I use a toothpick to mix it. I kinda make sure that I get like equal amounts of each product and then I really thoroughly mix it. I really, really spend my time mixing it well because if you don't get the right mixture, it doesn't dry right. And then, ever so carefully, I will put a very thin layer on the back of the letters. The thinner the letters, the harder this is to do. But at least these necklaces all have the letters connected. Sometimes when the letters are all single letters, it can be really hard to line them up nice and straight. These shouldn't be too bad today. Um, I do sell these custom name necklaces on my Etsy um, and my website. You can get to it from shoprws.com. Okay. So once it's nice and back buttered, I call it, you can kind of just drop it down. That's why it didn't fit, I had it upside down. And just kind of place it on the background. Boom! And then we're gonna wait until it's dry to peel the top. Those letters are gold mirror. This one's an easy one, look how big this one is. Let's do the hard one first. This glue does get kind of stringy as it dries, so I prefer to do the skinnier more tedious, more difficult ones first before the glue does get stringy. But if it does get stringy, I'd rather it be on something bigger that's easier to use to, to glue. 
Okay, these letters are purple mirror and they're going on this teal mirror background. Are you guys liking this royalty free music I had to select? I can't, I can't put my actual music on here because it's not royalty free. So I just picked this Zen. I am feeling Zen, yes. Okay, and there's that one. That one's so pretty, look at that. Pretty that is. Like I said, we're gonna let this glue dry and then we'll come back and peel the masking off the top of the letters. See, this glue's kind of getting kind of stringy now, but this one's big, so it's not a big deal. I just like to get the glue like a nice, even, all over thin coat, like you would butter a piece of toast. Yeah, I can tell that this glue is really setting up quick. You only have about a five minute working window before it dries, which is great because your piece is dry enough to chain really quickly, but um, it's kind of difficult to work with it because you only have a limited amount of time to get the glue on and get your pieces put together. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I'm ready. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to set those three aside to dry, and I'm going to throw away this leftover glue, this little guy. I like to use a post-it so I can just discard it like that. Okay, now let's move on to the acrylic welding. So these are all just standard acrylic on acrylic. So, we can use this product here. It's Weld On number three is what they call it. It's Weld On, here it is. Weld On number three. So, if you hear it, it's like the consistency of water and it's actually not a glue. It's a solvent and what it does is it breaks down the acrylic on a molecular level for both pieces. And then once it dries, they become one. So it's much better, stronger hold than glue. Um, but, you know, like I said, if you're using a mirror on top, you can't acrylic weld it. So we gotta do what we gotta do. So first step, this, this acrylic has a plastic, clear plastic mask on it. So first step is you need to remove the mask from both parts that you would like to weld. So the area you want welding together. Come on, come on, get off of there. 
There we go. And then more. I swear the hardest part is getting the masking off. Okay. So since we want to weld to the top of the background, we have to peel the top of the background. So that way it's acrylic exposed to acrylic. You just layer them up like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other ones and get them all ready and then I'm gonna weld them all together. This one is a really pretty gray. You can weld to the top of mirror because the top of the mirrored acrylic doesn't have that foil, it's just the acrylic. So you can weld to the top of mirror, and that's what we're gonna do with this one. Okay, there we go. That one's just gonna go right on there. And then this one. This one is a gunmetal mirror. So yeah, as you can see, we are gonna weld to the top of a mirror. See the back of the mirror has that foil that doesn't weld. But since the welded part's going on here, no problem. And the glitter acrylic welds like a champ. So I'm gonna put these glitter letters on top. Ugh, the smaller the letters, the harder it is to peel it. Hardest part of the process right here, peeling the plastic. Paper is much easier to peel than this plastic. Oh, it's the pits. If there was another way, I wish, but this plastic is important to be left on because otherwise the heat of the laser mars the acrylic when you cut it. So, even though I hate it, it keeps my pieces perfect. And so, we have to deal with it. It's worth it. My dog's over here snoring. If you hear snoring, it is my dog. <laughs> She's getting a good nap in. Must be nice to not have a job, huh? Even though I love doing this, who am I kidding? is really tough to peel.
All right, finally. Okay. So now we're going to get out this weld. So um, what you do is you use one of these syringes without a needle. It's just got like a little pointed tip. And um, I put a little hole in this can so I can suck it right out of here with the syringe. You do not want to get this on your skin at all whatsoever. So then I'll squeeze out a little bit of air. It's in here very carefully. Okay. So now what we do is I'm going to try to show you guys you squeeze just the tiniest bit of the weld right at the edge of the letters and it goes automatically just right between the two layers of acrylic and it bonds it super fast I'd say within like I don't know one to two minutes it starts bonding it within seconds but I would say it's completely bonded in a couple minutes and I just kind of make sure and go around and get Make sure it's underneath each piece so that the entire thing bonds. I mean, you can see how much easier this is than the glue. Faster, more precise, less messy, and it has a stronger bond. So all in all, it's definitely better than gluing. However, sometimes it's not an option, like with the mirror. So that's why we glue. Okay. The one thing with this is you've really got to make sure you get your piece where you want it, because once you weld it, there's really no moving it. All right, looks like we're done. I still have some left in my syringe. No need to waste it. Squeeze it right back in the can for next time. And um, close it up. This stuff is not sticky. It's, um, so it, it doesn't leave any nasty residue in my syringe. You can save your syringe for next time. You can reuse it a bunch of times. Okay, let's look at our pieces. Now all we do is peel them and they're done. Once it's welded to something, it's a lot sturdier, it's easier to peel, that's for sure. All right, there's the front, and now I'll peel the back. I don't peel the back until the very end, just in case while I'm working I set it in some glue or some welds, squirts on the paper I'm working on or something, I don't want it to mar the back. All right, that's done, look how pretty that is. That one's done. All right. Yeah, these are already welded, guys, like all the way together. The glue is probably still a bit touchy to work with. We'll check it out when we're done here. 
I'm gonna peel the back of this one. This one's got my logo on the back. Can't always do that. You can't put it on the back of mirror because you'll see it in the front. So I can only do this sometimes. Get off all those pieces of paper. Okay. Perfect. get it all to peel off in one continuous piece that's the best okay there's that one cute okay and then we're gonna peel this one so this one the background is mirror and mirror does not have anything to peel off on the back. That foil is back there and it doesn't peel off. So it's one less thing to peel for this one, which is good because peeling the letters on this one's a pain. Okay, almost there for the love. Cost this much because it takes me hours, guys. All right, there's that one. This is gold glitter on gunmetal mirror. Pretty. All right, let's check in our on our glue pieces. Yeah, they're set up too. So this is mirror, so we're not going to peel the back on this one, but we can peel the top. gosh look how pretty that is gold mirror on purple mirror it's gorgeous hmm this color combo I love now my dog's really snoring in the back <laughs> oh. thank you diva for uh, keeping my video so interesting thank you oh yeah look at these colors together guys look how pretty these are Look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I hope she likes it. I have a feeling she will. So there's that one. Okay, last but not least, this big daddy. do the back first so I don't get a bunch of fingerprints on the front on the mirror the mirror gets really fingerprinty so I don't want to put my fingers on the lettering as much as I can avoid it I will
course, inside every little letter the paper sticks. Annoying. And then I'll just use this sticky piece to come pick up. those little leftovers. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that one's got my little logo on there too. Okay, time for the reveal. Oh, that's my heater coming on. Oh yes, look how pretty this is. This is like a classic color combo favorite of mine. Gold mirror on black. I mean, it's always stunning. Look at that. Very pretty. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.